He who would a good edge win must forge thick and grind thin. Now that's an old saying in blacksmithing, but what does it really mean? Really, it is quite simple, which means today's video will be fairly short. It is the addition of carbon to iron that makes steel, and the more carbon that's in the steel, the harder the steel is going to be. Every time you put a piece of steel in the fire to reforge it, you're going to lose some carbon. There's going to be some decarburization. And the hotter it is, the more carbon you're going to lose. So if you're forge welding and laminating tool steel to mild steel, which is what I do for a lot of my axes and adzes, you're really going to burn off a lot of carbon. And, the, and that carbon loss starts at the outer edges and works its way in. So the more times you put it in the fire, the more times you forge it, the more carbon is lost. So if that carbon is burning off the outside edges of the piece, whether it's a chisel, an axe, an adze, a knife, and whatever it happens to be that you're working on, it's losing carbon on the outer edges all the time. So if you leave that thicker, you have a center section that has not lost carbon, it has not been decarburized, and then when you are all done and you have hardened and tempered, you can grind down to that portion of steel that hasn't been damaged through repetitive forgings. Now I can't tell you how many times you have to put something back in the fire, how hot you have to get it. I can guarantee if you burn it and it's got sparks, you've lost a lot of carbon. But just in general forging, you might be able to take, put it back and forth 20, 30 times before it's really noticeable, but I don't know that for sure. I don't have the facility to test the theory. So it is a good practice to leave your forgings thicker than you really want them. Don't try to forge right down to a cutting edge. And then after hardening and tempering, you can grind down to that final edge. The other benefit is that a thin edge is more fragile and it is more likely to stress crack when you quench it during the hardening process. And it is also more likely to warp. So if you leave it a little bit thicker, it's a little bit more stable, it's a little bit more protected, and it's going to hold up better during that hardening and tempering phase. And if it does warp ever so slightly, there might be enough material there to grind it flat without having to worry about that warp. But if it's real thin, you probably lost it and you're going to have to go back, anneal it, normalize it, straighten it, and try it again. And that's just more chance for it to decarburize. So that is just a quick look at an old blacksmith's adage. I hope you found that interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button. Feel free to stick around and watch a few of the other videos. There's a lot more forging in a lot of the other videos. But then by all means, get out to your shop, make something. But if you want a good edge, leave it thick, grind it thin. But do it safely, wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next one.